In any given year, one in five Canadians experience a mental illness. By the time they reach 40 years of age, one in two have or have had a mental illness. People with a mental illness are twice as likely to have a substance use disorder compared to the general population. At least 20% of people with a mental illness have a co-occurring substance use disorder. For people with schizophrenia, the number may be as high as 50%. Additionally, people with substance use disorders are up to three times more likely to have a mental illness. Sometimes the drug use can cause the mental illness to develop. More than 15% of people with a substance use disorder have a co-occurring mental illness. This is the story of Varsha Gudrula. Forty-one-year-old Varsha Gudrula was born on April 2, 1980, in Habajat, India. She grew up in Canada after her family moved to the greater Toronto area when she was a child. Friends and family would describe her as a beautiful soul, a ball of energy who was friendly and kind to everyone she came into contact with. She attended and graduated high school and university in the Toronto and Mississauga area. She then went on to attend medical school in the country of St. Kitts and Nevis in her early 20s. It was around the same time that she started to abuse alcohol and illegal substances. Her mental health started to decline. She entered rehab a few times to seek help, but it never had a lasting effect. She was a vulnerable member of our society. On August 25th, 2021, at approximately 10.45 a.m., a mechanic at Future Auto Service was taken trash out and found the body of a deceased woman stuffed in a suitcase. This was in the Keel Street and Hillary Avenue area. It was Varsha. Her death was ruled a homicide. On Sunday, August 29th, Police executed several search warrants as part of the investigation. Andre Bartley, 35, and Christopher Daly, 57, both of Toronto, were charged with accessory after the fact to murder and indignity to human remains. Their photos have not been released. Police then issued a warrant for Carita Jackson, 37, of Toronto. On Monday, August 30th, Police announced Jackson had been arrested and charged with second-degree murder. Police say they are not currently seeking any additional suspects. The cause of death has not been released. The perpetrators are currently awaiting trial. I'm attaching a video of a friend of Varsha's who has chosen to publicly speak about her. Have you heard about this case? If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. Also, like and share the video and leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. The world just suffered a huge loss uh, in that the uh, loss of Varsha Gajula, who uh, sadly passed away last week. And uh, she was found in a suitcase on, uh, on the 25th of August. And... Uh, She was found in a suitcase next to a garbage bin in in Toronto uh, by the Keels Keels Road and uh, Rogers Road area. And uh, this video is pretty much just going to be about uh, what uh, what Varsha was all about and just a traumatic loss that just the whole world has just lost a very special person and. Definitely the probably the most amazing person I've ever met in my life, and um, so Varsha uh, Gajula was born um, April 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 second, nineteen eighty. Um, she was born in Hyderabad, India, and she came to Canada when she was a young child. She went to high school and uh, university in. Mississauga, Toronto area, and uh, even went to medical school at uh, in St. Kitts, uh, Navis. Um, 
and this was all back when uh, back in her late teens early 20s and um, unfortunately that's when the time was that uh, things were going on in her life uh, I didn't know her personally at, at that time but um, that's when she got into drinking and uh, substance abuse and it was pretty much for the last uh, 20 years or so it's been a struggle for her her life has been a complete struggle and just uh, you know just the fact of just thinking about who, whoever was involved in this act I mean those people they're not those are not human beings whoever did that and uh, I, I don't want to pay any attention to the to those people they don't deserve it but whatever they have to say I, I hope they are going to eventually be exposed regardless and whatever they have to say they have to say so it's between uh, God and 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 those parties involved at this point um, Varsha was a beautiful soul she was the most beautiful soul I ever came in contact with and I just feel blessed to have the opportunity to have known her and uh, just more about more about her she was she she was definitely the type of person that would that would love everybody no matter who you were where you came from what you were going through if you had a moment if you had a minute to to talk she would love to talk to you and find out more about what you're going through and uh, it's just uh, she was just definitely a one in a billion one in a billion person and uh, She's definitely the most special person I'll ever meet, ever, and uh, I just hope her struggle is over now. I mean, the last few months of her, of her life, she was struggling hard with her addictions and her own demons that she was battling, and she she tried to get help. But you know, it's it's like I can't speak too much upon it. I'm not tr trained in that area, but I can I can sort of see just from the from living living with Varsha, seeing her often. I was very close with her, and she, just one minute she'll be okay. The very next second, something will trigger, and there was definitely some kind of chemical imbalance in her brain that. Just made her act that way she went to rehab a few times and while she was in rehab I mean you could just see the full potential that of this wonderful woman that, that she was and, and Varsha's, Varsha's gone now but she'll always be with everybody She's always going to be around. And just whoever, whoever is responsible for this, you know, like I said before, it's it's God's in God's hands now. And that's all you need to know, man. That's it. So that's it. That's it, and that's that, right? But, Uh, just a beautiful soul that the world has just lost and it's such a tragedy and uh, thank you so much for watching if you want to know anything more about Varsha I would love to talk to you about her if you just want to send me an email send me a message anything and this person was beautiful and she loved everybody so I'm sure she would have liked you too Hi Boogles, right now I'm at Tim Hortons, can you see, that's what it's called Tim Hortons, with you, you're driving, say hi, hi Boogies, hi Boogles, so um, 
all day today we just slept dodos and cutties and office time so right now I still have about almost 20 26 hours left of my day pass my pass for the weekend but however um, just want to let you know that I love you and I miss you and uh, it's gonna get better I'm <laughs>